ago but that's okay timeless timeless totally timeless, timeless. so it's now great. we're already halfway into lent halfway there whoa living on a prayer well yes we we've been living on a prayer sister gabriella um we've been praying a lot um that's why this episode is a little late and we've been getting some comments on facebook <laughs> People sorry, are asking we're us, sorry, what fans. is episode three? We're sorry, but we're praying. That's we're our praying. job. <laughs> we're fulfilling our vocation. We're praying a lot. It's cool. Um, so oh yeah. Hey, wait. We have sponsors, right? Yeah. Sponsors. Yeah. Sponsors. Yeah. Who are our sponsors? I believe they are Benedict XVI, Pope Emeritus, and Celestial Seasonings. Uh, 
official tea of the monastery? Blueberry, specifically. Blueberry. Blueberry. So, uh, some people might be interested in how, you know, what is our prayer like during Lent? Yeah, I was just wondering. I was just wondering about yeah. that. I mean, I guess I experienced it, but... Yeah. yeah. So, we have three opportunities in the second half of Lent for people to come and pray with us. Ooh, fun! So, do you want to tell us about the first one? Yeah! Well, the first one isn't actually at the monastery. Uh, it's at the cathedral in Parma. Um, which you'll find out more about from our website or Facebook. And uh, it's going to be great. We like to call it liturgical calisthenics because we prostrate, prostrate, prostrate <laughs> for three hours and it's great. So you should come and join us if you'd like a good liturgical workout. It's going to be great. It's called the Great Canon of St. Andrew of Crete. Oh, yeah. The, say that? The t I don't remember. <laughs> but that's the title The Canon of St. Andrew of Crete. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great, yeah. Um, we won't be able to walk the next day, but... But it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all done. What, else, what comes after the canon? Then a couple days after that is Akathis Saturday. Mm. And it's a beautiful service to the Mother of God oh, at the monastery. That's, yeah, that would be great. We'll sing. Sing to Mary. And then okay. during Holy Week. <gasps> oh, that's right. Our have? favorite service. Bridegroom, bridegroom Maddens. Maddens. It's going to be great. We get to sing the Bridegroom Tropar. Lots of other great things. So Wednesday of uh, Holy Week, come on over. We're going to be praying. I think uh, the bishop is coming. Maybe. Hey, hey. I could be wrong, but that'd be great. I think. Yeah. So you can meet our bishop. You can meet our bishop. It'd be great. So all that's on our website, Facebook. Check it out. Places. Get more connected. details. Yeah. Don't forget to RSVP. Yes, please call. We want to feed you. Mm-hmm. And, um... Ask the Nuns? Speaking of our website, yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been getting some Ask the Nuns questions. We're a Sorry. little backlogged. We haven't really been getting back to you. But we're working on it. Um, and keep them coming. They've been really great. Mm -hmm. So today, our question is, what do the nuns at Christ the Bridegroom do for Lent? Are mm -hmm. there any unique prayers or fasting rituals that would work for anyone looking to adopt new routines into their Lenten journey that will prepare their hearts for Easter? That is a great question. That's a great question. Yeah. Well, what about fasting? Fasting? Well, do you remember how we fasted during uh, the Christmas time, before Christmas, for preparation? Yeah. We do something very similar. Actually, it's it's tougher. It's even tougher. Because we, we do no meat, no dairy, no oil, and no wine. It's a little rough. But it's good. It's good preparation. So uh, that's, that's what our fasting looks like. Um, and everyone's invited. Uh, to do that with us, just like um, in preparation for Christmas. Or any part of that that you can do. Yeah, any part. And then as far as prayer, there is a specific prayer mm -hmm. in the Byzantine Church that we pray for Lent that we really love, and it seems like everyone who comes and prays with us really loves it too, and that's the prayer of St. Ephraim. Yeah. Um, well, we, we can't really, you know, it's, you can't really explain it, so let's Let's just show you. That would be best. Yeah. Field trip! Field trip! Yay! Lord and master of my life, spare me from the spirit of indifference, despair, lust for power, and idle chatter. Instead, bestow on me your servant the spirit of integrity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, O oh Lord and King, let me see my own sins and not judge my brothers and sisters, for you are blessed forever and ever. Amen. And we're back! Whew. That was that was a workout. It was great. That was so, only three, Sister Gabriella. Sometimes I get winded easily. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. The cannon's gonna be a the little cannon's up. coming. It's gonna it's out. It's okay. So do we do we have any special segments today? Oh yeah. Well, besides praying a lot, we have also been shoveling the driveway a lot. 
We live in the snow belt. There's a lot of snow here. Yeah, so um, especially Sister Gabriella. She's pretty much become a pro at it. So back by popular demand, we have our segment, Helpful Hints from Handy Gabriella. Yeah, let's check it out. <coughs> Today we'd like to demonstrate for you how to plow your own driveway. Because our plow man doesn't come. So we left our own devices. Thank you to Captain Cardinal for the man plow. Well, not the official man plow, but the unofficial man plow or nun plow, because it's black. So um, the best way to use the nun plow, uh, you need to get a real running start. It's good to have leverage using um, well, I don't know, I didn't take physics, so I can't give you the technical terms, but I know it works. Um, so let me, let me just, I'll just show you. That'll be better than trying to explain it. Words just can't even capture the, the, the beauty <laughs> of, the, of the, I'll just do it. For that demonstration. You are so welcome. It's 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 my pleasure and my exercise. So well how about a word from our sponsor? Yeah, let's let's check it out. In uh, Pope Emeritus Benedict's final Wednesday audience, he said, We are in the year of faith, which I desired precisely in order to strengthen our faith in God in a context that seems to relegate it more and more to the background. I would like to invite everyone to renew their firm trust in the Lord, to entrust ourselves like children to God's arms, certain that those arms always hold us up and are what allow us to walk forward each day, even when it is a struggle. I would like everyone to feel beloved of that God who gave his Son for us and who has shown us his boundless love. I would like everyone to feel the joy of being Christian. In a beautiful prayer which can be recited every morning, say, I adore you, my God, and I love you with all my heart. Thank you for having created me, for having made me Christian. Yes, we are happy for the gift of faith. It is the most precious thing which no one can take from us. Let us thank the Lord for this every day, with prayer and with a coherent Christian life. God loves us, but awaits us to also love him. Thanks, B16. That was great. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching. Keep an eye out mm -hmm. for our next episode. We'll have another special guest. Yeah. And we'll be praying for you for your journey to Pascha. Roman translation, Easter. Okay. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I don't think going without a script is a good idea. <laughs> it's going well. It's going well. Perfing my notes.